in the kitchen now again with Ingrid from the Girl Scouts. Girl Scout cookie time. You're going to be ringing your doorbell. You're going to be seeing them out. I like the booth sales because nobody comes to my door anymore. So, um, but they're going to be out and about all over the place soon, right? Yes. St again, starting March 9th. Uh, if you don't know where a booth sale will be, then you can go to our website and then um, do a cookie booth locator and we'll find one near you. Wonderful. What if we didn't have the Girl Scout cookies? You guys couldn't do a lot of the stuff you do, right? Absolutely. Our girls do um, their cookie sales to work in the community. Our, the funds stay within our local community and they really do an awesome job. They want to do some phenomenal things and the cookie sale actually helps us they help do. them do that. And my daughter was a Girl Scout for many, many years and they go to Broadway shows and camps and things that you know they, they wouldn't able to be able to do without that. All right, so we're going to use Thin Mints, my favorite cookie. Would they ever get rid of Thin Mints? As far as I know, they would. Yeah, I don't think so. I think that <laughs> there would not be a lot of happy people. And we're going to turn Thin Mint Girl Scout cookies into some killer chocolate mint bars. So if you've got to go to a potluck or you need to bring dessert, this would be a winner. This would be a winner. All right, so we're going to start with the crust. You're going to chop, um, t do two sleeves of thin mints. Okay, which is one box, right? Which is one box. Okay, so into our thin mints. And we found kind of the best way to crush them up is get them into a Ziploc bag. And you can do it by hand or a meat mallet or a rolling pin or whatever. Um, but this is going to get a great minty crust. So yeah, go for it. Um, and then you're going to do a half a stick of butter. Okay. And melt it. Okay. Just going to put that in the bottom of our 9 by 13 pan. Yum. Yummy. Uh, ever tried thin mints in the freezer? I, I, I haven't, oh. but a lot of people say it's really good. Oh, you, have, you must do that, Ingrid. <laughs> Not that I ever have. Um, but yeah, something about like putting a candy bar in the freezer kind of takes it to the next level. So, all right, there are our crumbs, and this is our crust. So, thin mints, two sleeves, half a stick of butter. Then we're going to bake that for eight minutes. Okay, so you don't need to bake it real long. You're just until they kind of cross yes. together. Now tell everybody about a way that um, you can come out and sample all sorts of fun Girl Scout cookie creations that's coming up in a couple weeks. Uh, March 10th on Saturday from 1 to 2, we are going to be at Fox River Mall. We are collaborating with them on a cookie um, cookie, cookie Cook kickoff. Yes. Excuse me. And it is free to the public. So the Come on out and enjoy some good food. Oh, it's, it's a ton of fun. I've been a judge uh, before, and I, you can't imagine what some of these restaurants come up with. Some pretty fancy stuff with Girl Scout cookies. So here's our crust, and when you bake it, it just kind of comes together, sets up for you a little bit. All right, now, next layer. We're going to do a can of sweet condensed milk. Okay. And then we're going to do a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay. And a cup of chocolate morsels. Mm -hmm. And we're going to melt that. Uh -huh. and once that's all melted, then we're going to put it on top of the crust Ooh. and bake it for another 25 to 30 minutes. Ooh, okay, so we're almost there. Let's get to... Now, this is what we were talking earlier. 100 years it's been of Girl Scouts? Yes. Wow. Yes. What would we do without Girl Scouts or Girl Scout cookies? Wow. Ooh. Well, we don't want to find out. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I, t I totally agree. Like I say, just give so many uh, girls opportunities that wouldn't be able to go to uh, the PAC to see a show or take a trip yes. to Chicago or go to camp. Yes. I mean, Girl yes. Scout camp. I went when I was a kid. And I, my parents didn't camp camp, mm -hmm. so I didn't know what camping was. Not that, you know, Girl Scout camp isn't quite that roughing it, but, you know, it, what a great experience, and I learned so much, you it, know. It is a great experience, and you were mentioning about your cookie experience, uh, your cooking experience with Girl Scouts, and actually the recipe that you are making is from a troop. They uh, won it at their cookie kickoff, and that was troop number 329. Nine seven. So Love a it. lot of girls are actually trying new things. And I, you know, they don't teach home ec in a lot of the schools nowadays. Yes. So you know, if these kids aren't, you know, they don't know how to cook, um, they're not going to learn on their own. So you know, you got to teach them and have people like the Girl Scouts cook with them and get them in the kitchen and measure and all that kind of good stuff. So Absolutely. this goes on top. This is the chocolate chips, the sweetened condensed milk, and a little bit of vanilla. And then once that gets done, then we're going to put the Andes chocolate chip mints mm. on top of it and okay. then we're going and this so this bakes first right yes okay and then this would come out of the oven and, and down go this. our andy's chocolate mints and then you let it set up 
Ooh. And it goes back in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. And ooey and gooey and wonderful. And here are some of our bars on the plate. Uh, good to see you so much. And again, um, the website for people who uh, you know want to come out and support and buy cookies at different booths. How can you find out where these girls are going to be the next month or so? It's www.gsnwgl.org. And our phone number is 888-747-6945. How much are a box of cookies this year? Cookies are three fifty. Oh, you can't beat that. You cannot and, beat it. Um, best cookies for sure. And you not only don't have to make desserts, you can actually cook with them. You can coat them with your chicken. You could. It's a lot of varieties that you can. Or you use, can so. put them in the freezer and eat them right out of the box. <laughs> That's always a yeah, winner. Right. <laughs> Recipe for these bars, these minty, wonderful bars, uh, on our website. We'll be right back to wrap things up. So stay with us.